channel before we get into this i'm gonna put the comment of the day up and if you guys want to take part in that all you have to do is leave me a comment and i randomly choose them from my new notifications so also before we get into this hi hello it's been a long time since i've uploaded a video and i really apologize but i have been dealing with a pinched nerve and i have been unable to do anything without excruciating pain I am on medication and I'm doing a little bit better and I want to film. I just want to have my normal life back. So that is what I am doing. So if my videos are not, you know, as regular, it's because I'm still a little, still a little messed up, but we're getting there. <laughs> so I posted in the community tab asking you guys if you'd be interested in seeing, you know, my favorite things from the Sims 3 store. I don't really see anybody do this and haven't seen anyone really go over Sims 3 store stuff since, you know, it was actually being released like way back when. Um, so I've had people ask me what worlds and things like that are worth it and what are my favorite worlds and things like that. And I had a person actually leave me a comment that reminded me I have been wanting to do a video like this in a while. And I'm going to make that the comment of the day. Um, just so you guys know, because uh, she reminded me that I've been wanting to do this for a while and I'm going to do it now. So I, I honestly love all of the worlds. So these are all of the worlds, obviously, in the Sims 3 store. This is nothing new. You guys have all seen this, I'm sure, a million times. But I'm going to choose my favorite, probably like three, I guess. Kind of show you guys what they come with and jump into game and kind of do like a mini overview of each world and kind of show you like my favorite things and, you know, what I like about it and stuff like that. Uh, Because honestly, I own all of these. I just bought Dragon Valley, like couple months ago, I think it was. Dragon Valley was the only one that I didn't have and was the one I was least interested in, but I do enjoy it, but I honestly don't play it in it that often. I just kind of wanted it in my game in case I wanted to play in it, but I do like it. It's just not something that I would play regularly. So that was the last one I bought. I don't have the venue to go with it, which I'll go over venues and stuff because, you know, in the store, they have like the store content. We have premium world venues, sets, build by, create a sim, all of that. I'm going to kind of go in sections and just like pick things like from, you know, we'll do venues and then different sets that I like or, you know, just things like that, like appliances or whatever the case may be. I plan on doing this like maybe once a week, maybe once every other week. So if you guys are interested in that, leave a like on this video so I know you guys are interested in it and all that fun stuff. Also, this is my Sims 3 name up here. If you guys want to add me, I always approve everybody. Um, I also have some Sim points here that I want to use on something and I'm not sure what. I've been saving them because I have no idea what I want to buy yet. So we're going to get into the worlds and I'm going to shut up. I just have not been able to talk to anybody and I'm just so excited to be back on here. So my favorite worlds to play in and worlds that I, um, you know, most off camera will gravitate to are Lucky Palms, Aurora Skies, and Midnight Hollow. I'm sure you guys could have guessed there was going to be a creepy one in there because, you know, it's me. But those are my three most used worlds when I use a world that's not CC. <laughs> when I use the store world, it is always Lucky Palms, Aurora Skies, or Midnight Hollow. Roaring Heights was close. I really wanted to use this one too. Roaring Heights is really, really beautiful, but I decided to just go with three. So, you know, this won't be a super long video, even though it's going to be a super long video. So grab a snack and grab a drink. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and check out Lucky Palms first. So Lucky Palms is freaking beautiful. I love Lucky Palms. I love that they have like a little backstory. So that you can get the standard or the gold version. I have the gold version because I wanted to, I just wanted it all because I, that's just how I am. But if you get the standard, you get the wishing well, which is really fun. But if you get the gold, you also get the triple riches slot machine and the, <coughs> sorry, hit them harder, blackjack table and the wishing well. And I just like it because it adds, you know, extra gameplay and stuff like that. And it's just the world and the lighting is just beautiful. You get all kinds of exciting things. Uh, and then, of course, we got the backstory here, which I think is really cool that they have, like, a nice little backstory. And we've got Darren Dreamer here looking for love and Lucky Palms. Darren Dreamer here, artist in residence to the fabulous town of Lucky Palms. And by artist, I mean real artist, not the bumming on my friend's couch hopefuls. I'm a single adult male whose interests include painting, computer games, and preparing grilled cheese sandwiches. I don't really enjoy spending much time outdoors, but I do love painting landscapes. Something, a something I love about our town of Lucky Palms is how many unique and beautiful things there are to paint. 
whether it's the rich orange and reds of the mountains and the, and the desert green of the skin of the cactus or the rising sun's reflection on the surface of the lake our surroundings are bursting with natural beauty and vibrant colors it is a very beautiful world uh, the Blooming Cactus Beach Bistro offers the best views of the city at sunset, and my place to grab a bite of a bit for a, a grab a bite and a bit of inspiration. Are you looking to be inspired? If so, you can find me at Fifty Nine Gobi Road. I look forward to meeting you. Okay, Mister Darren Dreamer. So this one is one of my favorites because I love I love the casino. The casino is really just like the coolest thing in my life okay i love the casino i love going there and visiting and you know just doing my thing and then the force of wishing well you can wish for love wealth power and fame uh you can get the little what is it that little gold coin it's like the lucky coin or whatever and you can like hit it rich on the uh <laughs> the slot machines you can like wish for a kid too and sometimes that gets like super creepy because it's like something out of that like creepy horror movie the ring and it's like uh no just go back in there <laughs> so lucky palms is one of my favorites it's one of my go-to's if i'm just wanting to play in a regular world and then of course we have aurora skies which i think aurora skies is a lot of people's favorite i feel like I don't know. I really, really love Allura Skies. It's so beautiful. You get a hot air balloon with the standard edition. The hot air balloon is just amazing. There's this, like, of course, more gameplay for you. And then in the gold, we get more stuff, which is the Local Motion Toddler Walker. Now, I wish I looked up how much these were. I'm pretty sure they're kind of expensive. I'm not going to lie. Pretty sure the worlds are pretty expensive, especially when you get gold. It's, like, super expensive. Um... I should probably yeah, I just took a quick that. peek and it looks like it was an average of like 20 to 25 dollars but I'm not sure don't quote me I don't have I already um own all of them so I'm not sure how much it actually costs to purchase these worlds I'm hoping if I can like find the actual prices I'll leave it in like a pinned comment so you guys know how much like the standard and the gold is uh because you know the gold is a little bit more and I think with some of the gold ones that you purchase you also get free sim points uh to spend on other stuff up here so i'm not sure if it's all of them but i know that i've bought worlds and i get like with the gold i get extra points and stuff like that so yeah you get the um the hot air balloon the head start playpen and the local motion toddler walker which i love these they are so helpful with oh my god now my dog's gonna want in <laughs> Anyways, they're super helpful when you're like, you know, trying to teach your kids to walk if you have like a ton of kids and you can just like stick them in there and it's like really quick. Okay, that's my favorite thing about it. I just love how quick it is. Uh, all right. So then we have a backstory for this one. I am so sorry if you hear my dog scratching. She is just like not not knowing what is going on. So this is do it for the science. Science is everywhere, everywhere around us. But at Aurora Skies, it's just not something you learn. It's something you do. We need bright young minds to make the dreams of the future a reality. Even now, we're finding more uses for garbage to help the planet. Charging batteries, powering machines, the sky is the limit. <laughs> my dog. Just this last year, we, we created a modified hot air balloon using garbage as fuel and turning it into pure air with a pine breeze scent. Now you can have efficient travel and an amazing romantic adventure with no cost to the ozone or your nose. See, I love the hot air balloon because you can like be super romantic. You can propose all of that exciting stuff. It is one of my favorite things. Uh, every year we're creating more and more exciting things in the world of science, garbage powered hearts, heart powered cars, solar powered cats. What will we think of next? It's all up to you. Do it for science. Did you know hot air balloons are an epic form of travel based around a simple principle that hot air is lighter than cold air? They live Lift the air based in the heat system of the balloon, increasing the temperature of the air inside the balloon makes it lighter than the air outside and the balloon begins to float. More air is required to lift heavier things. That's why balloons have to be so huge. How cool or hot is that? I absolutely love hot air balloons. Like I used to go to the hot air balloon race in St. Louis every year. I haven't been for a few years, COVID obviously being one. And a couple years, it rained so much that they couldn't do anything. But yeah, hot air balloons are one of my favorite things. And I just love that little addition and that little romantic gameplay, you know, to something cute and cozy for your Sims. And of course, we have... Midnight Hollow, which is, I feel like not many people's favorite. I don't think a lot of people like it because it's very dark and I like very dark things. So this is like right up my alley. So of course I had to pick Midnight Hollow. And of course for the standard, you get the Savvy Seller collection when you have the rugs and you can kind of have your own business run. Uh, and then for the gold, you get the Titanic toy machine, which I 
love that because I like being able to build the little like uh what is it like the little play mat the baby play mat that's like one of my favorite things to to build and the uh is it the play mat am I thinking of sims 2 there's a play mat in here yeah the kite is my favorite I'm losing my mind anyways yeah there's a there's a play mat we'll find out uh <laughs> so yeah there's that one and I just love the creepiness of it I love these like little creepy dolls that just stare at you and follow you everywhere this is just like you know one of my worlds. It's one of my things. I love it. So the backstory for this is, hello, friend. Are you sick and feeling out of place? Sick of feeling bad that there's no one around like you? Sick of those smiling neighbors telling you to enjoy the sunset in the valley? Then come to Midnight Hollow, where it's good to be one of a kind. It's definitely one of a kind people there. There are some very interesting, very interesting characters, but it is perfect to me. Uh, life is hard and people will always have something to say about you. All of her husbands die mysteriously and suddenly. Or I think her son was fathered by the Grim Reaper. Or I'm pretty sure she's a murderer. Where do they come up with this stuff? I moved here to get away from the normal life. To find life that's normal for me. Let them have their starlights and shores. I'll take my century old Victorian mansion. Eerie, lan eerie landscape and interesting neighbors every time. Here's to hoping you're next. I mean... I meant being my new neighbor, not the whole murder thing, FYI. See you at Midnight Hollow, all of Spectres. So it's an interesting world. And of course, there is the chance of getting the um, blood red sky, which I have not gotten often. I've gotten a few times, but I think if you have a, not 100% sure, but I think if you have a um, lighting mod in that you will not get that because I think it kind of like messes it up. So I think I don't have a lighting mod in anymore, so maybe we'll get the Blood Red Sky. I don't know. We're just going to take a peek around these worlds. I'm going to hop in the game, show you a little bit of my favorite things from each world, and just kind of go from there. So I'll see you guys when we hey get guys, in the game. So we are in the first world, which is Lucky Palms, and these are in, like, no order or anything. And, of course, it is my opinion, so some people might not like the worlds that I chose, but these are the ones that... I tend to gravitate to, so I figure we just kind of take a look around at what this world has to offer, and, you know, maybe you guys might want to buy it. I was actually looking at the prices and was shook at how much these worlds are and how much I must have spent on these worlds. Okay, so, like, the standard version for, I think, all of these worlds was, like, $24, $25, and for the freaking gold the version. The gold version is, like... 35 to 45 dollars you guys like holy crap i did not realize that they were that expensive and that i've spent that much money in the sims 3 store and i'm like what was i thinking either way uh <laughs> that's the prices i'll leave them in a pinned comment so you guys know the standard and gold for each world because i was pretty shook i'm not gonna lie and i can see why people haven't bought all of them i must have just been completely insane so anyways we're in lucky palms and it's a pretty nice size world this is like really just i just love this world it's really beautiful it's kind of got like this area over here which is like the more you know run down area the starter homes and stuff like that and then, of course, the military base over here. And then we have, like, the little docks over here, which is, like, the, the houseboats before Island Paradise kind of, you know, happened. And we've got a couple starter homes. And we have the casino I went ahead and placed down. And then in the park right here, as you guys can see, there's the wishing well. And we're going to just take a look around. I'm just using a sim that I, you know, randomly have in my bin. So we have one house here we can start out with, one house here, and I think... Two, yeah, there's two houses over here. Um, I'm just going to start out with the little dock house because I just really like it. So we're going to just grab this one, take a look around. I'm just going to show you a couple of my favorite things. It's not going to be like a world overview like Beautiful. I normally do. Like I just, <gasps> whoever says The Sims 3 is ugly can literally suck it because it is not ugly at all. I don't understand how anyone can say Sims 3 is ugly. It is not ugly. It, it has never been and it will never be. Um, so yeah. Okay. Let's take a look now. Of course, my favorite thing is the casino. I love the gameplay for that. Uh, but we have this little park over here. That is the botanical garden. And then here's the wishing well, which, you know what? I'm going to have her come here and I'll show you guys a little bit of the wishing well in case you don't have this in your game. Uh, the wishing well is pretty fun. You can steal coins, which is how Fancy you sim or anything you can fish. And I don't know if you actually get anything special, but we're going to have her wish for love really quickly just to see what happens. Girl, are you clumsy? Like, what is going on here? She is. She's irresistible, clumsy, never nude, mooch, and a dog person. Okay, well, she's she's a mess. So I was just going to see if, like, we get any moodlets to kind of show you a little bit of the gameplay that comes with it. 
She's very excited. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, well, she didn't get love. Uh, nothing happened. So let's wish for power. Because I think sometimes you get a moodlet for this. So she's going to toss in her coin and hope that she gets a little bit of power. I don't know if she will. Sometimes. Sometimes we do. Sometimes we don't. Let's see. Nothing going to happen. Um, all right. So here we go. This is what happens here. It says, how does this outfit look on me? I am. Oh, I am looking good today. If only there were mirrors around me to check myself out. So I've never actually had that happen because I don't often wish for power. Uh, let's wish for a child and see if the creepiness, you know, happens. Oh, and then she's got this little mood that says my own biggest fan. I'm awesome. Just ask me. Let's see if she actually gets a child to come out of here. And then we're going to try to steal coins. Now, it's not super easy to steal coins sometimes you can get it the first try and then other times oh my god it says <laughs> lacy notices there's something evil about the child coming out of the wishing well yeah you see you see there's about to be a child what kind of horror movie shit is this honestly like, what kind of crap is that? So now we have this child. Uh, I'm going to have her steal coins and see if we can actually steal a coin and then go to the casino. Uh, like I said, sometimes you have to do this a bunch of times. Sometimes you get it on the first try. And she found it on the first try. So that actually works really well for what I wanted to we do. We have the park over here, which this is actually a cute little park for the, um, you know, the festival lot. I do like this festival lot here. Uh, let me see here. I wanted to show you guys. Oh, over here, how in the backstory it says this is like the best view. This is such a cool little restaurant over here, the little bistro over here, because it does have like a nice little view of the town. You're wearing what exactly? I don't even know. But girl, you're going to wait a minute. We're going to come over here and we're going to play Lucky Slots. Now, you only get that when obviously you have the little lucky coin. So we're going to see if she wins. Sometimes you can win a big jackpot. Sometimes you don't win a whole bunch. It really just depends, but you have a better chance of winning a lot of money and hitting the jackpot with the bum bobs or whatever the, you know, big jack jackpot um, little thing is. So let's see what happens when she puts in her ginormous coin that obviously did not fit there, but whatever. <laughs> let's see what happens when we do that. Come on, girl. You better get that big jackpot. I love playing the casino. Okay, so she didn't get the huge jackpot. She got 874 simoleons, which is not the huge jackpot. I think the huge jackpot is 5,000 simoleons or 10,000, something along those lines. And then, of course, we have over here the blackjack table, which I love the blackjack table, too. And you can, you know, start cheap. We can do $100 buy-in and kind of just sit here and play blackjack against this little guy here. I, this is like something I use all of the time. The casino is in every one of my like games that I play. I make sure that I always have the casino. I always have these guys. You guys see if I like put something in a lot. It is always the casino because I just think it's a fun little way to kind of gain some extra money and just to kind of give the Sims something to do. And it's, you know, it's just more gameplay because we love gameplay and Sims 3 has all of that. Uh, so <laughs> she's going to sit here and kind of play with this guy. She's doing moderate. You can do conservative, conservative, aggressive, and count cards so it looks like she's not doing so well she's only has 90 90 simoleons left this is they're like my favorite like this one is huge but this is like more of a like modern home and i'm not really like big on the modern homes too much uh i have lived in this house before or stole it one or, one or the other like one or the other and it is a massive house i really like it but um, I, like I said, I'm not a fan of the huge modern, like, homes. Then we've got one of these huge old homes over here, which, let me just, let me just pop in here so you guys can kind of see what some of the homes look like in case you were interested. Uh, they're not all, like, super modern, but, you know, a lot of them kind of are. I was looking at, oh, here we go. I was like, how do I turn on the lights? Acting like I haven't done this in a while, and I haven't. I haven't done this in so long. Okay, this one's not as modern inside, but the, like, outside is more so. Uh, this is probably not my favorite layout. It's kind of all over the place, but you can see how massive this house is. And then we've got a massive pool back here with, you know, a bunch of water in the background, too. I'm also going to show you. That is Gucci. All right, so our little home, which is this little, like, houseboat but not really houseboat but you know we were almost there 
uh, <laughs> we, we were getting there. I love these. I think they're really, really cute. So this one is ours. It's just a loft. It's a pretty small one. And then we come downstairs and we have just this little area. And I was like, who the hell's kid is this? And I totally forgot that we wished for a weird, evil kid. So he's at home watching TV and, you know, we don't have a bed for him. So that's unfortunate. He's probably going to kill us in our sleep. But, you know, it is what it is. Run down area. Again, I'm sorry if you guys can hear my animals. They act like... Um, you know, the world has ended. Uh, we've got a nice little here. I love horse. It's not like going to be a full overview. And I'm over here just like so excited to be playing The Sims. Uh, and we've got, you know, stuff over here we can pick and add to our garden. Another little park. Got a pool over here. Cute little pool. You can also come out here and barbecue. This is just, I don't know. I like this area. I do like this area a lot. And then one of these houses, I think it's this one, is very interesting inside, and I just want to show you guys really quick before I move on to the next world, because I really need to not spend forever showing you guys everything, because I'm sure most of you guys have this world or have seen this world, and you're like, why are you even doing this? But look at this house. This is, like, the most interesting situation. I don't know. When I saw this house, I'm like, what in the world? But I want to live here, and I've never lived in this house in the sims or in um lucky palms for some reason but it's very interesting like this gives me like stage vibes like you know i don't know it's very interesting maybe i should read about the family maybe that's what i should do uh let's close that one out let me see is there anything else oh over here is like a kind of like your um what do you call it like i guess like a hotel type of area but not really a hotel because you know it is what it is oh not story progression let me open it up and show you guys. It's kind of kind of like a hotel type of situation because it's got all the beds like this, which is very cool. But I don't think I think you can only like it's like a family home, but it, it's meant to look like a, you know, hotel or whatever. But I think it's really cool. I have, again, never lived in this, but I just think it's really neat having that in the game. What else do we have? We've got the smaller homes over here. And it just like the look of the world is just beautiful let me see if we can get a, a nice view over here now that it's like kind of evening time and you can kind of see like look at, look at it oh my god this world is stunning it is so freaking stunning and we got the hot air balloon up there you guys i love it i love it so how is she ending up oh, she's doing a little bit good all right so i'm going to jump into the next world which is aurora right, skies so we are now in aurora skies which is if you guys watch my let's plays we have generations here and this is another one of my favorite worlds i think it's just gorgeous it is such a different kind of world the houses are different and it's just I think it's really unique I really really love this world and you know it's one of my favorites to play in and we're gonna take a look around I'm gonna use a different sim take a look around and I'm just gonna pick a random house let's see let's just move into one of these because these are more of show the, you guys like, some of the stuff because some people have not seen this and some people genuinely have been asking me you know what what these worlds are like and to do an actual world overview of sims 3 store world so this is a house i picked i think these houses are really cute they're just very interesting like the way they look and the style and i really really love them so that's why i like this world it's just so cool it's very interesting very pretty very pretty. Maybe we'll see some auroras. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Uh, so the one thing I like is the school here. The school is really, really cool looking the way it looks outside. I love how there's like the, the playground and, you know, if we bring down the walls here a little bit, let me see. Let me see. There we go. Like there's, look at this. There's like a little library. There's a place over here for your toddlers and stuff that you can come in. And then this is like the actual school building here. So they go in here, but there's like this little extra area and it just seems more realistic to me. I don't know. I just love it. And then of course we have like, I guess like kind of like the cafeteria area and then like maybe the study area. I don't know. I just love the school. This is probably my favorite school out of every one of them that there is just because it is very realistic. You know, I just think that it's, it's really neat. And then of course we have a nice little playground over here. I don't know. This one just is way more realistic to me than any of the others. So the school is my Center. one of my favorite. This things. is the lot that you will place it on most of the time if you have Varg's Tavern or Supernatural Varg's Tavern will be plopped down right here. So I usually just delete it and put this little 
um, Prodigy Center right here, which is super helpful because this is like one of my favorite things for kids. So you don't have to teach them to walk and talk like, you know, through your sim doing it because sometimes that takes forever, but I luckily have a mod to make it so it doesn't make it forever. But you put them in here and they can learn to talk. They can learn to play with like a, the mirror and the little abacus. And then also if you put like a sibling or another sim in there, they can become friends. They can play like peekaboo and that boosts their friendship. So it's really fun to do that. And you can also play with them when they're in here, which boosts your relationship with the kid. And then we also have the um the walker which you know they teach themselves to walk with that and it's really exciting but there's also stuff here for your sims to do so you can bring your kids here put them in there let them like learn to walk and talk and all that fun stuff there's also beds and stuff but there's also stuff like i said for your older sims to do and your children's sims you can come here and it's kind of like a recreational center in a sense you know like a family little place like a ymca or something i don't know but there's look there's all kinds of activities to do you know there's a lot of stuff for a lot of different sims here which is always exciting i like when everybody is included and we have look at this little area here you have like a little toy room here for the kiddos to play in got another little um changing pl or changing place um little um talking thingamajigger and then we've got area over here with some rocking chairs you can feed the kiddos We've got, oh, I didn't even notice that there's like something there for, you know, you can have a quick meal. Then we've got the outside area if you guys want to come outside and teach your kid how to walk. We've got a park over here. It's just like a lot of stuff, you know, there's a lot to do and we love to see it. We love to see it. So this little center here is one of my favorite things and we've got two pools. We've got one long one and one square one. And of course we got the inside here, which just has the bathrooms and stuff. But I don't know, I just like the view. I just feel like it's very peaceful over here. And I'm hoping we can get some All right, Aurora. so we're at Perspective Park, which is where the hot air balloon is, which is super exciting to me. So I'm gonna have her go ahead and get in. She is trying to come over here and flatter somebody. But I'm gonna have her come in here to the hot air balloon so you guys can kind of see what, you know, what you get with this if you were to purchase this. Um, the inside of this little place is just kind of like bathrooms and, you know, nothing super exciting well the star of the show is obviously the hot air balloon so we're, we're gonna go ahead and let her prepare for it. take off get, get back in there and look at this you guys you can actually have like some juice so get back in there because i want her to prepare for takeoff i don't know what the hell she's doing I'm pretty sure you can recolor this and everything so you can make it your own i'm just excited that we got a hot air balloon okay you're in prepare for takeoff let's try this again Let's try this again, girl. There we go. And then we're going to have her go up. She's going to go up. You know, she doesn't go too far, but still, you get a hot air balloon and it is really cool. All right. So you can land, you can fly to, you can sightsee, and you can drink. So let's slow down here. <laughs> so we get the little sightseeing and I think she saw something she did not want to see. You can also woohoo up here. Let me just tell you, you can bring your man up here. Somebody else's man, you can woohoo with them. Yeah, she's, she's excited about that. She's like, hell to the yeah, girl. Okay, like, we get it. We get it. <laughs> uh, we can also have a drink. So we're going to have her grab a drink. And then I'll have her fly to... Yeah, she saw something she didn't like. I can I can promise you she didn't like whatever she saw. She must have been spying on somebody woohooing. Maybe it was with somebody she wanted to steal. All right, girl. Go ahead and grab a drink. Sorry, I keep, like, zooming in and out. There she goes. She can have a drink here. Get a little juiced up in the hot air balloon, which I'm sure is really not safe, but you know. All right, we're gonna have her fly too, just to show you guys that you can actually travel with uh, with this hot air balloon. So we're gonna have her fly too. She's laughing at somebody now. <laughs> I don't know, I just love The Sims 3 so much. And these things are just, they're just, they just make the game a million times better. So you can fly to literally pretty much anywhere. So why don't we just fly over here to this little empty lot over here? And then you just kind of end up there. So it's, you know, you don't like, unfortunately get to see them fly, but you know, she Hot she's springs there. or something. I don't know. It's really cool. And all of the waterfalls. <gasps> this world is really beautiful. There's also a pool I wanted to show you guys this pool over here which is the community pool which is a little bit cooler than the other one I showed you guys it's kind of gives me sims 2 vibes in a way I don't know why it's like making me think of like when you can travel to what was it like Tweaky Island or something I don't know one of those places where there's like the little hot springs that's kind of what this gives me vibes of 
So, of course, you can make this into your own. I feel like I would... I honestly don't ever mess with this lot, and I really should, because I feel like, you know, I could put, you know, some of, like, the massage tables or something up here. I don't know. I just feel like this would be a really relaxing place, and, of course, you have the views, and you can see all of this fun and exciting like the cemetery, but you know what I mean. Like, this one just looks a little interesting. Uh, we've got a fishing place over here, which is kind of off, you know, and hidden, but, again, you have this beautiful view which is Aurora Skies. We've got a little okay, abandoned... So it is now 8.30, and you guys can see in the sky what we got going on here. Um, I'm pretty sure that I had taken my lighting mod out, but now I'm kind of questioning if I did, because it's not looking like I thought it would, but you guys can see, like, the, the colors, the, the like... Um, teal color and stuff like that that's like coming and going it's just like such a beautiful world you guys I'm telling you right now and look at this cute little park over here I'm sorry I love all of the parks <laughs> I just think it's cute when there's stuff for your kiddos to kind of go and you know take a look at so that is Aurora Skies and we're gonna move on to the final world which is right, Midnight Hollow so we're Hollow. in the final world which is Midnight Hollow and you guys I'm sorry I keep laughing because my animals are acting like I haven't filmed in like 10 years and they have no idea what I'm yes. doing. One of, I, I went ahead and picked like one of my more edgy Sims. This is one of the cooler starting houses. Like, look at this. It's like a Victorian home. This is like right up my alley. I'm telling you guys right now, this is a world that I would live in in real life. Like, honestly honestly would live in so it's very dark it's very gloomy if you guys don't like that again you're not gonna like this world but if you like a little bit of something spooky added to your game you'll love this world i think it's just really really cool so we got that house there now okay weird. i had to let my cat out because he's freaking out i'm telling you guys they don't know what i'm doing i i they act like this is something i've never done before um yeah he thinks it's funny so we've got these little creepy guys out here and you guys can see they just they follow you their eyes follow you. They're creepy. It's perfect. This is just one of those things, you know? And here's here's a sim in town who is Conrad Finley. And he is, like, one of the interesting guys as well. Then we have this area over here, which is kind of like a, like a fair... Not a fair squeal, like a merry-go-round, but it's really not. But you can, you know, have your kids kind of sit on there and play if you would like. And this is the toy shop. So you guys can make these things and then sell them which is really, really cool because we love that. We can have our own little business, you know, get the little savvy seller rugs. And we've got this guy up here. So you can make a baby play mat. See, I thought so. I wasn't losing my mind, but we're going to have him come up here and make the kite because the kite is my favorite thing out of the whole thing because, you know, your adult sims can, can kind of do it. So we have some sims here and you can tell they're like interesting and different looking sims a little on the darker side on the interesting side <laughs> the mascot and everything but what i was saying is like this world's full of like interesting different darker sims and that's just i love to play with sims like that i just really like the spooky vibe and this world gives me the spooky vibe and that's why i play in it as often as i do now, you guys have to let me know if you actually play in this world often, like if you own this world, if this is one of one the ones you play in often, because um, maybe I'm the only weirdo who does. I don't know. I just really enjoy playing in here more than Moonlight Falls, because Moonlight Falls is not as dark and creepy as Midnight Hollow is. So we're going to have him come out here. I'm going to show you guys using the kite. Of course, you've seen me do it a million times, I'm sure, but some people haven't. Some people might be coming in to see what this world offers because they might want to purchase it. Um, but yeah, you can make all kinds of different toys here, and you can make a random toy. We got the table blocks, balloon animal, and you know, you can sell these items, and then of course, your kids and stuff like that can actually use these items, so that's always exciting. So we're going to go to his inventory. Oh, he made two kites. Okay. Okay. So we're going to have him play with his kite, see if he can actually get it to fly, and then I'm going to show you a few things around town. Oh, that was a fail. <laughs> that was a fail. Come on, dude. You can do this. Uh, and I was going to show you a few things around town, this little creepy world that I like. Okay, let's see. There we go. There he goes. He's flying a little kite. I just think this is cute. I just love the little gameplay action. I always have to get a kite when I move here and whenever I have the golden ticket toy shop or whatever. I just think it's a cute little thing, you know, something fun, you know, get one for your date and you guys can kind of go and creepy. It's called kite. moldy something moldy missives library. I just think this is a cool look at library. It's massive. 
We've got some more sims up here. So you guys can kind of see the more interesting, uh, different looking sims that we have in this town. The more like creepy vibe sims. We got one over here. We've got Cedric Winchester. So, you know, there's a more different looking sim. So if you guys aren't into that style, you are not going to be. I this make place. this into my own, usually, this little place here. It's a cute little place, but it doesn't have professional bars. That's the only thing I wish that they did have, but of course, you know, they don't always have professional bars. Like, I change this out to something else, and I have a bar downstairs, usually. But it's just a creepy little area, nightclub, bar. Not really a nightclub, but I add a bar over here, usually. Sometimes you can add some other little fun activities for them to do, but that's like the little local pub that they have here. Here's another, let's take a look and see what sim this is. Who is this guy? Here's another sim. Oh, this is Probably over here in the corner, but we got these little creepy houses. Like this is just a creepy world, you know? It's not like, you're not gonna really find regular <laughs> type of stuff here. So let's go ahead and take a look inside this home really quick. I'm hoping we'll get a blood red sky. I don't remember if it's in the morning or in the afternoon. I feel like it's in the morning. Um, so maybe we'll see. We'll see. So we've got this one here, which is a creepy dark house, but you guys see how everything is really dark. Like even with like the brightest lights, it's usually pretty pretty dark inside the house and the coloring's pretty dark, but I love this house actually. <gasps> Oh my gosh, this kitchen. Oh my gosh, I love this house. <laughs> I love this house so much. The, the rooms are not very huge, but I like this house a lot. I don't know if I've actually even visited this home. Wow. See, always finding new things in The Sims 3. I'm telling you right now, it never gets boring. Um, and then of course we have the graveyard over here, which is more of the creepy vibe. And this is one of my favorite graveyards because of course it is so creepy. Um, but you can also add that venue. What is it? The, oh my gosh, the Grimm's Ghastly Manor, I think it is somewhere in this world. I can add it and that just fits in perfectly. But I feel like this is more of the creepy graveyard like style that I want if I'm going to have like a creepy world. And you know, we have graveyards. This is just, I don't know, the vibe that I feel like is <laughs> what I want in my world. I know that sounds really weird, uh, but there's that. In, in case you guys haven't seen my videos, yeah, I'm weird. So hi, how are you? Hey guys, uh, my cat has been tearing down the door. I am so sorry. I have like cut so many times because of these animals. Um, so we have Katarina Stewart here who actually lives in like a dollhouse looking house. And I wish I could find it. I don't know. Is this it? I think this is it. Yes. So this is like the dollhouse looking house and it's like, we have to look inside. I have to show you guys the inside. She's the most like normal looking sim of the town, I feel like, but she's not really, you know, normal. So Bing says hi to you guys. Let's turn on the lights. So this is her little house. It's a little doll house, Weird, I okay. guess. I don't know, but I actually do like this house. I think it's pretty cool. I don't know. I just think it's interesting and whatnot. So there's that one. It's like a little dollhouse. Let's see. What else do we have? like this area? I don't know. It just reminds me of like Hogwarts. <laughs> I don't know why I always say that. It just it reminds me of that. And it's just giving me, giving me those vibes. And I really, really like it. So what else? Let me see. What else? What else? We've seen Precarious Pub. I feel like I've showed you guys a lot. Like, I don't want to show you everything because, like I said, it's not a whole ass world overview, although I'm sure making it seem yeah, that so way. So, unfortunately, huh. we did not get the blood red sky this morning. It is a very rare occurrence. I've had it happen one or two times. I don't think it happens very often, but I did not catch it today, which really sucks, but I was hoping I'd be able to. So, yeah, occasionally you can get a blood red sky and it would be literally, oh gosh, it would be literally like bright red the sky and it's really cool i've seen it a couple times if i can remember i'll try to put up a picture of it so you guys can see what it looks like if you were interested so yeah i am going to wrap up this uh video right here i will be doing more of my favorite sims 3 store items if you guys would like to see it i apologize this video is so long and that there were so many animal interruptions it's as if I have never done this before and the whole house has just went crazy. Uh <laughs>
<laughs> so yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Let me know if there's anything in the Sims 3 store you guys would like me to go over next. Leave it in a comment so I know what to kind of go after. If you guys want to see like build by or if you guys want to see some venues or if you guys want me to like literally do full world overviews of the Sims 3 store world. Uh, if you if you would like that, you know, just let me know in the comments and we'll see what we can do. I'm trying to bring some different content and, you know, exciting things for, you know, people to see because I've been asked a few times to kind of go over this stuff. So I figure why the heck not, even though it's 2021, let's take it back to the Sims 3 store. So if you guys enjoy this, please leave a like on this video. Don't forget to subscribe. We're getting closer and closer to 7k every day. I cannot even believe it. I love you all and I'll see you very soon.